This is R.D. Sharma solution, class 11, chapter 29, limits. This is multiple choice questions. This is the next question under root 1 plus x 4 plus 1 plus x raised to and you add by x square. So, what do we have to do? x is tending to infinity. You know everything infinity in the denominator will be 0. Anything divided by infinity in very large number will always be 0. Right. So, how do we do this? We know that we can take the highest power which is x square. So, divide numerator denominator by x square or you can divide because already x square is in the denominator. So, you can divide this one by one. So, I am taking them separately. This is also x square, this is also x square. Now, when I take this x square in the denominator, inside this under root, it has to be x to the power 4. So, x raised 4 it will be. So, 1 plus x raised 4 divided by x raised 4. 1 square, 1 by x square plus x square by x square. So, you have 1 by x 4 plus x 4 by x 4. x 4 means x raised 4. I am saying that. 1 by x square and that is 1. This is also 1. So, 1 by x raised 4 plus 1. 1 by x square plus 1. Now, apply the limit. 1 by x infinity. So, x raised to infinity, this is going to be 0. And this is also going to be 0. So, you have under root 1 plus 1 and this 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 is the answer here. Next is under root 1 plus x minus 1 by x limit extends to 0. So, we will multiply it by the RF. So, take the plus multiply numerator denominator a minus b a plus b a square minus b square. So, you have under root 1 plus x this this 1 1 gets cancelled and this x also of the denominator cancel. So, only denominator you have under root 1 plus x plus 1. This is what you get in the denominator. Now, x is tending to 0, apply it here. This is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1 and root 1 is 1. So, 1 plus 1. So, 1 by 2. This is 1 by 2 again. This is question number 21. Sin pi by 3 minus x and divided by 2 cos x minus 1. So, x is tending to pi by 3. First thing we have to know, basically two things we know here. Pi by 3 value of or 60 degree of sine and uh, cos we need to know. First thing. Second thing we need to know cos A minus B formula that we already discussed earlier. Okay. So, x is tending to pi by 3. I am applying the limit with the right hand uh, limit or left hand limit. So, I am taking the left hand limit. Why I am taking the left hand limit? Sometimes I take right hand limit. It totally depends on the question. So, you just see if I if I apply pi by 3 plus h, we will have to do one more step. But if we take pi by 3 minus h, things will be solved quite easily. You will just see now. Okay. So, because we need to solve the problem, not uh, get stuck after spending some time. So, we need to have an observation and this experience makes us observator. So, sine pi by 3 minus, I am writing now pi by 3 minus h in place of x. So, numerator is what? See, sine is pi by 3 minus pi by 3 plus h. Now, it will be plus h. So, this, so it would have been minus, uh, this pi by 3 plus h, it would have been minus h. So, sine minus h is equal to, equals minus h, all this we have to do. But here we do not have to do. Simply sin h will come. This is numerator. Coming to denominator, you see you just have to open this. So, 2 cos a minus b cos pi by 3 minus h. So, we have cos a cos b plus sin a sin b plus sin a sin b. a is pi by 3, b is h here. So, cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. 2. So, cos 60 degrees what? It is half. So, it is cos h by half plus root 3 by 2 sin uh, 60 degrees root 3 by 2. So, you have 2 to do cancel cos h, 2 to also cancel here root 3 sin h minus 1. I am taking the denominator, remember. So, cos h minus 1, we know that 1 minus cos h formula we have. So, what we will do? We will make it as 1 minus cos h because 1 minus cos h is 2 sin square h by 2. This we already know. And since, since it is cos h minus 1, we will take a negative outside. That will be cos h minus 1 only. So, negative, you just have to do 
write this as a negative. So 2 sin square h by 2 and this is negative and then plus root 3 sin h sin h right. So we have uh, one more thing we are going to do and we already have this uh, sin h here ok. So we need uh, h by 2 here. See we, what we will do uh, rather than uh, we will do individually this is also good when we have this kind of uh, questions so we will do it them one by one sin h by h so multiply numerator denominator by h for the numerator. This is sin square 2 sin square h by 2 and remember it was uh, negative right. So it is uh, 2, uh, 2 sin square h by 2 so you need h square by 4 in the denominator so you are multiplying h square by 4 in the numerator also here also we have h. So I am doing uh, each and each term individually root 3 sin h so divided by h and multiplied by h rather than combinedly doing for the numerator denominator ok. So this is uh, see first of all sin h by h this is going to be 1 this is 1 this is going to be 1 this is going to be 1 sin h by 2 by h by 2 whole square, whole square. this is also sin h by h this is also going to be 1 we are applying the limit now. So what is remaining see h in the numerator is remaining h is remaining I forgot this minus negative sign ok you have to put this negative sign here it is negative sign minus 2 by 4 and h square will remain and plus root plus root 3 h. Please remember first term negative this is negative as we found in uh, the discussion. So now take h h from numerator denominator common. So h I am taking h is already in the numerator so we are taking h here so it is 2 by 4 is 1 by 2 and h will remain inside and then we have root 3 ok h h we have taken common you can get, get, just cancel it. It is 1 by negative of h by 2 plus root 3 negative this is not po positive it is negative so minus h by 2 plus root 3. Now I limit h tends to 0 so it does not matter whether it is negative or positive because h is going to be 0 so 1 by root 3 only 1 by root 3 will remain this is going to be 1 by root 3 ok. Remember I just missed that negative sign you have to add this negative sign. Now question number 22 now this question involves so many things. There will be a series which will have arithmetic as well as geometric series. So we have uh, I think discussions a very few times so we have not have had this kind of questions earlier. So first start with the sigma, sigma is the summation. So we can form it in, a, in the form of a series. So sigma r equals 1 to n x raise r so you just have to change r, r from 1 to till n. So x raise 1 plus x raise 2 and this goes up to x raise n. Now coming to sigma these later term sigma 3 raise r r equals 1 till n. So you have this 3 raise 1 plus 3 raise 2 and this also goes up to 3 raise n right. Now we have to have a subtraction so we will take subtraction 1 by 1 1 by 1 term. So x minus 3 this is x square minus 3 square then we have x cube minus 3 cube and likewise other terms last term I am going to write that is x raise n minus 3 raise n. So x n minus 3 n. Now what do you see here in the denominator we have x minus 3 for each term. So we can take, take x minus 3 separately for each term x minus 3 x minus 3 x minus 3. Now you have to understand that limit extend limit x tends to 0 x raise n minus a raise n x minus a x is equal to n a n minus 1. So this is going to be 1 plus see n a raised to the power n minus 1. What is n here? 2. So 2 what is a? 3. 3 raise n minus 1 2 minus 1 so 1. Here also n raise n n raise a n a raise n minus 1 so n is 3 a is 3 and n minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 is 2. So this is how it goes. What do we have here? n a raise n minus 1 what is a here? 3 so n 3 raise n minus 1. So now if you see the series if I assume 3 to be r I am taking 3 as r r is 3 so 1 plus 2 r plus 3 into r square plus like this and it goes up to what? It goes to n r raise n minus 1 r is simply 3 I just want to show you that this is an agp that is why I, I wrote r. 
arithmetic geometrical progression both are there when we have both the things together that is separately we can divide it into two two series so sum of this agp is 1 minus r raise n by 1 minus r square 1 minus r whole square right n n raise n r raise n 1 minus r so there are two series let me tell you the ap is 1 plus 2 plus 3 this goes up to n and gp is what 1 r r squared this goes up to r raise n minus 1 this is gp so what do we do r is uh, 3 of course and about this series that is the ap a is 1 and d is also 1 that is first term is 1 and the common difference is also 1 so a is 1 and common difference is also 1 now if you see that these we are going to put in this formula so 1 minus r r is what 3 so 1 minus 3 to the power n and then we have 1 minus 3 whole square minus n will remain it like this keep it like this n r is 3 3 raise n 3 raise n and then we have 1 minus r so 1 minus 3 1 minus 3 is minus 2 so let me take this minus here minus here so 1 minus 3 raise n 1 minus 3 is minus 2 minus 2 whole square is 4 minus 3 raise n and 1 minus 3 is what minus 2 so I am just taking this negative here so making it positive so n 3 raise n by uh, by 2 so taking LCM 4 this will remain like this 1 minus, 1 minus 3 raise n and here we, it will come 2 so 2 n n into 3 raise n so let us open this and combine the 3 raise n term so 1 minus 3 raise n plus 2n 3 raise n by 4 uh, so 3 raise n I am taking com common from the numerator so 2n minus 1 minus will come and 1 is already there plus 1 divided by 4 so this is the final solution okay uh, it may seem complicated because it is so we have to do it you know the next question is question number 23 so there are two series which are combined here right two series so by observing we can take the positive terms together and these are 1 plus 3 actually they are odd positive terms and the last term will be 2n minus 1 because it is odd odd so 2n minus 1 it will come then we have negative because minus is there so we are taking minus common and then we have all the even terms 2 4 6 like this until it goes up to 2n okay now you see this this denominator will take a later the first series what is the sum we need to find out the sum sum uh, we have two formula actually because these are these both are ap arithmetic progression common difference is 2 common difference is 2 so sum is n by 2 a plus n that is the first term and the last term n by 2 to a plus n and also you can have a sum like this n by 2 2 a plus n minus 1 into d this is also the way we can find out so the sum of this one is because we have the first term and last term so n by 2 1 plus 2n minus 1 a plus l first plus last term so 1 plus 2n minus 1 and if you see here we can take 2 common to make it easy so I am taking 2 common 1 plus 2 till n will come so when we take 2 common 1 plus 2 3 4 like this so we know that it is n n plus 1 by 2 standard solution we have okay so now uh, the best thing is you can take n by 2 common that is that will make the question easier to solve rather than doing the way it is being shown in the text uh, better is to take n by 2 common so I am going to take this n by 2 common here and what is inside we are going to see that most of the things gets cancelled so 1 plus 2 n minus 1 minus 2 n and minus minus plus or minus minus is minus minus 2 so minus 2 n minus plus 2 n gets cancelled and 1 and minus 1 gets cancelled so what are what are we going to get we are going to get only minus 2 but if you see 2 2 also is there denominator so only minus n in the numerator will come minus n okay only numerator we have seen so we have denominator as n square plus 1 plus n square plus 1 now divide numerator denominator by n 
so when it goes inside root it has to be n square so numerator will become minus 1 because the nn gets cancelled now i am taking n square inside the root so we are dividing also so n square by n square plus 1 by n square and here also n square by n square minus 1 by n square so this is minus 1 by in the root this goes 1 1 plus 1 by 1 square and here 1 minus 1 by n square so 1 minus 1 by n square if you see that n is tending to infinity so limit n tends to infinity so wherever we have something in the denominator of tending to infinity you just make it as 0 this is 0 this is 0 so minus 1 by under root 1 plus under root 1 it will come so minus 1 by 1 plus 1 so minus 1 by 2 will come okay so minus 1 by 2 is the answer Okay, this question we are going to take in the next discussion. Till then, thank you so much. Take care of yourself.